VTT Technical Research Centre of Finland is the biggest multi-technological applied research organisation in Northern Europe, with 3,000 employees. We are a globally networked contract research organisation that provides high-end technology solutions and innovation services. In energy-related research, our focus is to develop energy technologies and systems to mitigate climate change, improve the rational use of energy in industry, transport and buildings, and develop renewable and other CO2 neutral energy systems. Research and development is supported by strong foresight and scenario work, through lab and pilot scale testing, to demonstration projects with industrial and international partners. The large reduction of greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 needs non-traditional business scenarios and technological innovations. VTT has a 20-year track record in fluidized bed combustion research and development. Typical contract work includes characterizing the combustibility, emission levels or ash chemistry for opportunity fuels or their combinations. VTT cooperates with world-leading boiler suppliers aiming to develop utility-scale supercritical fluidized bed units. The technology makes it possible to achieve high efficiency and lower CO2 emissions compared to state-of-art fluidized bed technology. Using our pilot-scale test rig, VTT was the first in the world to successfully conduct a fluidized bed oxyfuel combustion experiment in 2005. Since then, Tens of oxyfuel combustion studies have been performed and comprehensive process and combustion models for oxyfuel combustion have been developed, applying the results from the experiments. VTT has and is currently coordinating European Union framework programme projects where European leading industrial partners are involved in developing readiness for oxyfuel demonstration on a utility scale. Another focus area in combustion research is the understanding of ash behaviour characteristics with alternative solid fuels, such as biomass residues and waste-derived fuels. VTT has developed sampling and monitoring methods for particulate and aerosol matter to create a detailed understanding of ash behaviour under fluidized bed and grate firing conditions. Based on this knowledge, VTT has patented the utilisation of combustion additives to control fuel ash behaviour in order to achieve lower ash deposition and corrosion risk. To apply this understanding, we have developed a waste-to-energy concept based on co-combustion technology that makes it possible to achieve 40% electric efficiency in municipal solid waste firing. VTT's unique fluidised bed and grate firing test rigs have been used to characterise tens of fuels around the world, varying from coals like anthracite and brown coal to various biomass and waste-derived fuels. Our combustion pilot plants were constructed in the mid-90s. There exist pilot scale bubbling, BFB, and circulating fluidized bed CFB test rigs with a fuel power of 20 and 100 kilowatts respectively, and a great firing unit with 500 kilowatts. In addition, we have a smaller scale bench scale test rig to be operated in bubbling and circulating fluidized bed mode. In mid 2000, CFB was modified to operate also in oxy fuel conditions the first in the world on this scale. The circulating fluidized bed pilot plant installation includes a fuel feeding system consisting of two different fuel silos and a separate feeding system for additives like limestone. The CFB combustion process itself consists of a combustion chamber and a solid material recirculation loop. The CFB pilot plant was equipped with a flue gas recirculation loop in 2006 to enable it to be used for oxyfuel combustion studies as well. Fuel can be fed into the combustion chamber by using two separate fuel containers, allowing co-firing studies of different kinds of fuels. Limestone, sand and other additives are fed into the reactor with a fuel feeding line by using its own feeding line. Preheated primary gas, which can be air, a mixture of flue gas and oxygen, or a mixture of bottle gases 
is fed to the reactor through the grid and mixed with the fuel and solid material entranced from the recirculation loop. Along the riser tube, which is 8 metres high and 20 centimetres in diameter, there are temperature and pressure measurements to obtain fuel combustion profiles. In the same positions, there are openings for solids and gas sampling. In fact, at six levels along the combustion chamber. After the riser, gas and particles will enter the cyclones. The largest particles are separated from the flue gas in the primary cyclone and led through the circulation back to the reactor. Smaller particles from the flue gas are separated in the secondary cyclone. This particle fraction can be sampled or returned back to the process. After the cyclone, there is a gas cooling unit and, finally, a filter to separate the finest particle fraction. After that, the flue gas is led to the stack. Or, in the oxy-firing mode, recirculated back to the process as a mixture with oxygen. The pilot plant installation is unique as it's able to perform measurements along the whole combustion process. During the years, we have developed new methods for gas and solid sampling to obtain reliable results from the process. In addition to gas and solid sampling, it's possible to perform deposition probing at different locations shown here. Sampling of fly ash can be performed after the cyclones or from filter. The sampling of recirculation materials, as well as bottom ash, can be performed in the location shown in animation. The multitude of process value measurements and the sampling of gas and solids from different locations enable detailed studies of combustion phenomena and the testing of control solutions in fluidized bed conditions. VTT's CFB pilot test rig can be used in a great variety of research studies and test runs to determine the exact characteristics of combustion processes.